Hello everyone, good morning. I've been from some Secrets, hope you're well. Um, today I've just got a quick, and it will just be a quick year four science experiment linked to the objective of sound. So what, what sound is, is sound waves. So um, normally it's caused by vibrations and normally you can't see these. So this experiment should hopefully allow children to see sound waves in, in the visible format sort of thing. Um, there are two experiments. One of them involves liquid, so it can get a bit messy, um, but I'll try to keep that to a minimum. And the other one is a bit, is a bit unmessier. It involves dry rice, so you'll be all right. So what I'll do, I'll just spin my camera around just to see my setup, and then you'll be able to see what the things you'll need for the experiment is. So it looks a bit chaotic at the moment because I've been playing around with this food coloring just to make sure it works properly. But the main thing you'll need is a speaker, and you'll also need a big bowl. Now, um, it doesn't really matter what, what sort of speaker or what bowl you have, just as long as the speaker can fit into it so it's got enough space sort of thing. Now, what I've done is hooked my laptop up to my speaker so I can play some music to it and what we're wanting is the vibration to cause either the liquid or the rice to move. Now unfortunately I've had to play around with this earlier hence why everything's out um, and it turns out that the speaker you, know, you probably need quite a powerful speaker for the liquid. The rice is fine but it's just a liquid that it may be a bit um, temperamental with. So what we'll do first I'll place the speaker in here and um, got the ball there and you can either use um, you can either use foil like what I've got here or you could use cellophane. Now we do, we do, we didn't actually have any cellophane in, but I think it may work better because it is thinner than foil, so the vibrations will be able to travel through and you know penetrate a bit better. But what I'll do, I'll set that in, and I'll do the liquid first. So what I've got here is some flour. I've got some food color in, and I've just had, I just put some water in this measuring jug, and I've just mixed a bunch together. Now, the reason we're wanting the flour is because it'll thicken up the liquid, so it's not going to get as messy. But the food coloring makes it look really cool as well, so you can see all the ripples in the, food, in the, um, in the liquid that you create. You can experiment with different food coloring to, different, to make different liquids, but for now, I've just got like um, a pink liquid mixture. Now, unfortunately, this, doesn't, this isn't working as well as I want it to, but I will show you just to get the general gist of it. So what you're going to want to do is place the foil on top of the bowl. So it creates like a massive um, seal to it. Now once I've done this, so normally you just do this dry and then you'll just put the foil on straight and then you put, pour the liquid on top. Now if you are doing this with kids, I suggest adults you pour the liquid otherwise um, I assume that liquid's going to go all over your house and that's just not what you're wanting. <laughs> so let's just see if we can find, right that's fine. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go on some copyright free music and hopefully this will work properly. So let's just have a look. So speakers in there, I'm just going to play this now. So here we can see the vibrations coming through and that's the sound waves um, you know, vibrating this and causing the sound. Now unfortunately my speaker's not loud enough for the liquid to move so normally what you'd see is um, some ripples happening in the liquid and it creates some really cool patterns depending on the sound waves that are coming through. Now what you can do at home is hopefully you'll have a bit, you'll have a bit more luck than me. Um, you can experiment with the thickness of your liquid so depending on how much flour you put into it and also maybe the colours that you put into it as well. Um, if you have a bigger speaker, try using that. What will be cool to see is if you do try this experiment at home, pop it in the comments, maybe put an image in the comments and just see what, what results you get because it will differ from person to person. You can also play around with the song that you choose as well. So maybe maybe like a heavy bass song or maybe just some sound effects from a cartoon or something like that. Because it is a Bluetooth speaker, so just pop anything you want. I'm, I'm limited to making sure that this is all copyright, so I am limited to the music I can use. So let's have a look now. What I've got now, this one works a bit better because you don't need as powerful a speaker to use this one. So if I place a bit of foil now and place it on top of it, I should have a look. Okay, cool. Right, just make sure that's sealed again. And you want, you want to make sure this is a flat surface so that um, it can dance around a little bit. So this time we're going to create some dancing rice. And it's the same concept, um, however it should show up a little bit better. Now I've got a cup full of rice here. And again, I'm going to place this carefully on top and just scatter it, scatter it around a bit. Just make sure it's equal. There you go. Cool. 
And again, experiment with the amount of rice you use or um, the surface area that you use. So maybe a smaller bowl and um, a smaller bowl may work better um, depending on um, what, how much rice you put onto it. Right, so again, I'll use the same song and this time this should just start jumping around now. So let's have a look. Make sure it's playing properly. Turn that on. Oh, speak. oh there you go. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Something happened then. Yeah, there you go. So this one's working a bit better. So again, you can see the vibrations are moving the rice part and um, the separate bits, bits of rice. Um, I'm having a few technical difficulties with this, so that speaker didn't really connect properly then. Um, but again, try it at home because um, it will differ from person to person, so hopefully yours will be a bit more dynamic. But let's just give you a general gist of the idea anyway. But like I said, it is just a quick experiment. This one's a lot less messier than the liquid one, so if you're not wanting to clean up, clean up a massive mess, stick to this one. But that is pretty much it. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you do have a go, send us your pictures underneath in the comment section and we'll have a look. Cheers guys, thank you very much. See you in a bit, bye.